Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, just wanted to quickly show you today my go-to two mil pellet mix for the hybrid feeder. Hybrid feeder is now probably one of the most popular forms of feeder fishing in the UK right now. Everyone's on it. The hybrid feeder is great because it traps those pellets in. You know they're gonna to get to the bottom and not come off like on an open-ended, so you, in deeper water, you know it's gonna get there and you're gonna get them bites from them fish. The way it explodes and holds your hook bait around in that pile, that perfect dinner plate, that is how we catch carp today on commercials and even bream and even on naturals now, these hybrid feeders and open-ended methane feeders are just like take, taking the places apart for big fish and like lump, loads of fish. So my go-to pellet mix, my two mil pellet mix, is a combination of these two bad boys. So we've got the Ringers Sticky Method Pellets and Dynamite's famous F1 Sweet two mils. I do a 50-50 mix of these and that's as easy as it gets, guys. 50% of the Ringers, 50% of the F1s, and that is it. I will show you how I mix these up and how I do it. It's as simple as like you would not believe. Probably seen a million videos of it, but I just thought I'd do me own one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. So my two mil pellet mix. 50 ringers, 50 F1 sweet, job's a winner. So, easy as it says, again, like we do with the ground bait videos, get yourself a bait box of how much you want to use for your session, and use that as your measuring. And write it down, just keep a little log if you want to do, do that, just to see, did it work on the day, did it not? Did I add, add a bit more? And just make your own mixes up. So. I'm gonna, this is a two pint tub. I'm literally gonna fill it halfway. I want about a pint, because I'm not here for, for too many hours, and that'll probably still be too much. So pour it into your bait bowl. That goes in there. The, the ringer's pellets are like two different types of pellets. So one's quite soft, and it all helps to bind, especially if you're using it in shallow water on an open-ended method feeder. So don't discount these, this mix, for a normal open-ended method, as well as the hybrid. Now we put the two mils in. Same again, get your bag open up. Pint of pellets, get them in there. These are such a vibrant yellow, guys, these pellets. The skimmers and bream love them, by the way, absolutely love these. So if you're fishing on the pole, they're brilliant for skimmers and bream. Again, so pour it all in there. That's about, that's about a mix, and get your fingers in there and just mix it all up. So just mix them all up so they're all mixed through. And that's, that becomes your mix. Then we're gonna add the water. The water needs to be just covering the top of the pellets. So I'll show you in a second, guys. Just get enough in here and I'll show you up close. Just if it goes over a little bit, just drain a little bit off. So you know you've got it just so the pellets are just poking through the water. Do it on flat ground as well, obviously, so you're not getting more water on some and some not. And I'll show you what I mean, guys, up, up close, all right? Okay, guys, so there you go. You see them pellets are literally just poking out. Now, I will set leave these for about two minutes and then I will drain nearly all the water off so it's just a slightly damp and then I will leave them for about half an hour and then they will be perfect and ready to go for the hybrid or your open-ended method. Okay guys, so pellets are ready. As you can see, I've left mine in my pellet strainer. The reason I've done that is I don't want to leave them in a tub because the tub's got loads of water in it still and it can just keep the pellets and just take too long. Also, if you're in a rush and you've forgotten to do it at the start of the match, this is the quickest way to do it. Because of all the vents in the strainer, the air gets through it and just dries them out a bit quicker. Not completely, so don't leave them more than probably five minutes tops. But yeah, all of those guys are ready to go. Perfect pellets. They will bind lovely. There you go, guys. Look at that. Perfect. And then, but you do this and you can see they're all gonna go back to individual pellets. None all squashed together, not turned into a paste. That is my go-to two mil pellet mix for the method feeder and the hybrid feeder, guys. Get on it. <laughs>